They cost over $2 million, and when you hear the engines roar, you'll know exactly why. With thousands of horsepower, revolutionary designs, and record-breaking engine systems, these elite cars are taking the automotive world by storm. From never-before-seen Aston Martins to top-of-the-line Lamborghinis, get ready for some of the meanest-looking hypercars to have ever come off the production line. Citroen GT. It started off as a car designed solely for the Gran Turismo video game on PlayStation, and now the Citroen GT is one of the loudest, meanest, and most head-turning cars ever built. It really is a concept that demonstrates what can happen when the advanced worlds of computer gaming and car design come together. From the horizontal front and rear LED lights to the 21-inch diamond-like alloy wheels and the scissor doors, this really is a revolutionary supercar shape, and it can be yours for just Oh boy, $2.1 million. Would you ever pay that much for a car? Aside from the menacing look, it's the sound that really causes me to jump. The big V8 engine, which churns out 560 brake horsepower, roars through the rev engine, and yeah, just listen. It originally debuted as nothing but a concept car at the 2008 Paris Motor Show, but now it's well and truly out there on the road. Apparently only six of these bad boys were ever made. Devil 16. If you thought that the 560 horsepower of the GT was impressive, you've got another thing coming. Lock your ears because this snarling 5,000 horsepower engine belongs to none other than the Devil 16. Uh, the what? Yeah, don't worry, I'll break it down for you. Devil is the Dubai startup company producing this wild ride. And 16, well, not only is it the name of the car, but it's also how many cylinders are in the engine. Crazy. While the super lightweight, high strength carbon fiber body looks incredible, it's the rear of the vehicle that really catches the eye. Are those rocket boosters? Well, not quite, but the company has actually admitted that the 16 was inspired by a fighter jet engine. So it's not too far off. Said to be able to reach 320 miles per hour, it's really not far from that of a fighter jet anyway. So I know what you're thinking, because yes, I want one too. But unfortunately, these pieces of automotive art don't come cheap. There's the budget-friendly 1.6, $6 million entry level version, the $1.8 million 3000 horsepower version, and the mean elite 5007 horsepower racing version, viable at over 2 million bucks. Renault Morphos. Michael Bay, eat your heart out, because Roaring In Next is a real-life transformer. Well, the closest thing to one we've seen, at least. This is the Renault Morphos, an electric mix of an SUV and sedan that has a crazy, never-before-seen feature. Built with an extendable body, the Renault can transform itself between a shorter city car and a longer version for traveling longer distance, where comfort and storage is key. That's right, the car literally can change its physical dimensions at the touch of a button. It was supposed to make its debut at this year's Geneva Motor Show, which ended up being canceled, but that didn't stop Renault from delivering a shock to the auto industry anyway. Aside from its main feature, the Morphos also has autonomous driving, an onboard intelligence system, a front passenger seat that flips 90 degrees back so that you can face your friends in the back seat, and a max mile range and horsepower of 435 and 214 respectively. So, who wants one? Hands up! Give this video a click like if you can see yourself driving one of these in a few years. Renault has an officially released a price or release date just yet, but trust me, it ain't gonna be cheap. Lamborghini Huracan Evo and Evo Spider. Sliding menacingly around our next corner is the Lamborghini Huracan Evo. It rocks a V10 engine, 630 horsepower, and a top speed of 202 miles per hour, or 325 kilometers an hour. And obviously, this car's intimidating exterior speaks for itself. They're on the market for a little over $260,000, or if you've got an additional $27,000 lying around, then why not go for the Evo Spider version? And let the wind blow through your hair with the roof down as you rock it from zero to 60 in just 3.1 seconds. It's touted as the most successful V10-powered Lamborghini ever, partly because they managed to eliminate the roof without sacrificing aerodynamic efficiency. It'll catch your attention no matter what color it rolls up in, but if you ask us, it's a toss-up between black and green for the most jaw-dropping. Cast your vote in the comment section below and let us know which is your favorite. 
Lamborghini Aventador SVJ Roadster. There must be something in the water over at Lamborghini, but they just seem to produce one main unit after another. This beast you see before you is the Aventador SVJ Roadster. It maxes out at 218 or 350 kilometers an hour, almost 20 miles faster than the Huracan EVO we just drooled over. And like the EVO, you can feel the thrill with the top down. The two-piece removable carbon fiber hardtop stores in the front trunk when not in use. But that extra speed does come at a cost with its V12 6 5 liter 770 horsepower engine, the Aventador SVJ Roadster will set you back almost $574,000, almost double the price of the EVO. For a handful of celebrities, that's chump change. But for the rest of us, well, a little more saving is needed to buy what is considered the most iconic form of the Aventador family. Its production was limited to a mere 800 cars, so even if you do have the money to burn, it doesn't mean that there will be one available for you at the snap of your fingers. Pagani Huayra Roadster. All right, Lambos, you've had your time in the spotlight, gearing up next to strut its stuff as a name synonymous with all-out supercar performance, the Pagani Huayra Roadster BC. It's got insane over-the-top styling. Like, seriously, just look at this thing. It's pretty much a race car in disguise. Plus a menacingly powerful engine, dizzying top speeds, and a price tag that we can hardly fathom. The Huayra Roadster pumps out a monstrous 800 horsepower or 774 pound-feet of torque. And if you listen closely enough, you might just be able to hear it. Its 6-liter AMG V12 engine sends it to a top speed of 224 miles per hour, or 360 kilometers an hour. What's perhaps most nerve-wracking, however, is the fact that you can feel up to 1.9 Gs of max lateral force when turning corners. And this is all for a cool $3.5 million price tag. Is it worth it? You make the call. Mercedes AMG 1. Have you ever wanted to take a Formula One car onto the road? Well, soon you'll be able to, sort of. Using F1 technology, this is the frightening Mercedes AMG One. It might not have the crazy name like Spider or Morphos, but it doesn't need one because its resume speaks for itself. With over 1,000 horsepower, an electrically assisted twin turbo engine, and one of the meanest spoilers we've ever seen, this impressive unit is nothing to scoff at. The thing is, it's not exactly easy to adapt an F1 engine for use in a street legal vehicle. And that's why the word out of Mercedes is that we're gonna have to wait another two years before it becomes available for purchase. And who knows if that'll ever happen. Assuming the production timeline goes to plan and you're soon in the market for a new set of wheels, how much is one of these insane machines gonna cost you? Probably more than you'd be willing to spend, to be honest, a painful $2.7 million. Keep in mind that only 275 of them will ever be built. Koenigsegg Jesko. Next up, straight out of Sweden, we've got the sleek twin-turbo V8 Koenigsegg Jesko. It's a true beast of a machine, not only in power, but in looks, too. Under the hood, it boasts a 5-liter engine capable of producing a whopping 1,600 horsepower. With the pedal to the metal, this car can reach an absolutely astounding top speed, making the Lamborghini Huracan and the Pagani Huayra look like cloths. That top speed in question? 482 kilometers an hour, or 299.5 miles per hour. It's excruciatingly close to that illustrious 300 mile per hour mark. But did you know that there are actually a number of cars that have passed that epic milestone? Yeah, take a look at our videos of cars who smashed the 300 mile speed. Link in the description. Unfortunately, even if you've got a spare 3 million under the mattress, the Koenigsegg Jesko is already sold out. Just weeks after the company unveiled it at the Geneva Motor Show in 2019, all 125 models were hastily snapped up. McLaren Speedtail. All right, speeding around our next corner is both the most aerodynamically efficient and fastest McLaren to date. Drum roll, please. This, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls of all ages, is the speed tail. Arriving in 2020, this ultra lightweight machine can reach a claimed top speed of 250 miles per hour. Yeah, that's over 400 kilometers an hour, and that's more than twice the speed of a Honda Civic. With a body made entirely out of carbon fiber panels, they're calling it the spiritual successor to the legendary McLaren F1. And that kind of title doesn't come lightly. It's one of the most anticipated and expensive hybrid vehicles, with a buying price of a startling 2.2 million. By the way, that's more than 100 Honda Civics would cost combined. The electrically assisted twin turbo 4 liter V8 engine is able to pump out 1,036 horsepower, but it's what's on the inside that's a little more surprising. The driver's seat is actually located smack bang in the center of the car, with a passenger seat on either side. Have you ever seen a setup like that before? Aston Martin Valkyrie. 
Okay, moving on. The driver's seat is back in the normal position for our next hypercar, but that doesn't mean it's normal by any stretch of the imagination. Cast your eye toward the Aston Martin Valkyrie, also known as the AMRB001, aka The Nebula, aka Big Time Very Cool. Sounds like something straight out of a James Bond movie, doesn't it? On the outside, its lightweight gullwing doors open to expose a racy interior, and on the inside, it's packed with an electrically assisted 6.5 liter V12 engine that turns out a sinister 1160 horsepower. Don't worry, because even if you could fork over $2.3 million, there are only 40 of these beauties scheduled to become available. Get in line. Oh, there's also a more extreme version in the works called the Valkyrie AMR Pro, but it's meant purely for racetrack purposes, so we'll leave that one for another time. And that brings us to the end of our list of the meanest cars ever made. Which one of these eye-popping rides impressed you the most? Let us know. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and thanks for checking out The Richest. We'll see you next time. And please, wear your seatbelt.